everyone. Welcome to another episode of RC Flight School. I'm Brian, the host, joined here by Logan, our student. And on the bench today, we have the E-Flight Habu STS 70 millimeter EDF. Um, this is the trainer that Logan here is going to be learning how to fly with. So we're just going to cover a few of the, uh, the kind of the important aspects of this Habu. Uh, this is the latest generation uh, trainer from E-Flight. Uh, it includes SAFE, which is going to be very important for our new student pilot. Pilot, If you remember from our previous episodes, we've already learned about SAFE and how it has uh, three modes in which uh, we have beginner, uh, intermediate, and, and experience. We'll be uh, obviously learning on, on beginner mode. Uh, this aircraft does also have AS3X, which we talked about before. It's kind of like shock absorbers uh, for your airplane. It's just going to kind of smooth things out. Uh, it also has um, an optional landing assist sensor, which we do not have yet. Uh, it's it's on its way. It's not here yet today, but that's all right because we're not going to fly it today anyway. And the landing assist sensor, which we will be simulating in Real Flight 9.5, actually helps the aircraft flare on landing. When we talk about flaring, we mean as the airplane comes in, it's going to pitch the nose up just a little bit, so we touch down on those main landing gear first and let the nose drop. It's going to have a sensor located on the bottom of the fuselage that's going to aid us in, in doing that. <laughs> now, I know a lot of you probably are looking at this airplane saying, uh, you guys can't be serious. You, you have a new student pilot who's really only had a few flights on a buddy box like a year ago. I mean, it was not really even, I wouldn't even consider it really much of flight training, just a little introduction. Uh, you're going to take someone like this and you are going to have them fly an EDF jet. Um, yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, he is going to learn. Uh, we've already gone through the ground school. In fact, I would say at this point he has completed the ground school portion of it and we're going to move now into the simulator section and we're going to fly this plane in Real Flight 9.5 and then we're going to move on to um, flying with a Horizon instructor. And what really makes this Habu suitable for an EDF trainer or a trainer that's an EDF is this large wing uh, area that you see that the aircraft has. They've really optimized the, um, the wing, the size of it. The, uh, the shape of the wing, the shape of the airfoil, everything has been designed to be optimized for, to be a trainer plane. Uh, it's, it's not a high wing trainer like I learned on. Um, it's gonna be a low wing EDF, but it's designed out of the box to be a trainer and safe will definitely help with that. You may also notice it's got oversized uh, wheels and tires on it. Uh, so it's gonna be fantastic to be operating off grass, which we'll be flying off of at the, uh, the Grand Haven uh, RC Flying Club. It's also got a spring-loaded uh, nose gear, which is great because, you know what, not every landing is, is perfect, and it's not a perfectly smooth surface. So that's another one of those things that's been added on here to really kind of help give the airplane a little bit more, um, it's going to be a little bit more robust, and you can fly it off grass, you can fly it off paved surfaces, you can fly it off a, a variety of things. The nose cone on here is, uh, is like a rubbery compound, so that if he does bump anything, um, it's not, it's not going to shatter. Um, the other thing is um, it's got this really nice, beautiful canopy that has a uh, catch release on it that uh, pops off here. And inside here, um, it's going to house a, um, a 3 s battery. This is going to fly in a 4,000 milliamp per hour 3 s But when Mr. Speed and Power here gets, gets his solo complete, he's able to fly this thing on experience mode. And he says to me, you know what, I think 3 s is just not fast enough. The Habu will fly on 4S without any modification, so we can go a big jump up in power, um, and this airplane will be more than capable of doing it. So it's not only a trainer, but it's a plane that you can you can grow with as well. We've got three modes of safe, beginner, intermediate, and experienced, 3S and 4S. It really is a very versatile uh, airplane that uh, Logan's going to be able to learn with and it's really a fantastic plane for anyone to learn with or even for a club to uh, to have uh, at their disposal if they want to teach a new pilot. So um, it does have a very unique uh, receiver and flight controller built into it. It's available in an RTF and if you remember what RTF is, it's a ready to fly version fly. Yep. or a PMP version which is a plug and play. There's no bind and fly. The BNF version does not exist of the Habu. The unique flight controller inside here is specifically developed for the Habu 
to be used as a trainer. So that Logan here, who has you know basically no flight experience, is gonna be able to fly with an instructor and master this particular aircraft. It is a uh, four channel aircraft, so it's got aileron, it's got elevator, it's got rudder, and of course, um, it's got the, the throttle, and this is usually 70 millimeter electric ducted fan, so no, obviously no propeller up front, and that unit is, is housed in the, uh, the back here. And also, it, um, it's smart enabled, so it's got a smart uh, receiver, works with a smart battery, and that allows it to send telemetry to our Spectrum DXS radio. And this being the bind and fly version, it came with the radio, the plane, came with a battery, and it came with a, uh, <clears throat> with a charger as well. And as an extra bonus, which I thought is fantastic here, it includes the USB dongle um, and a code that Logan can download um, Real Flight 9.5. It's kind of like a, almost like a student edition of it. And he can download that from Steam and he can practice on his own using the, the Habu in the, uh, the flight simulator. And really that's gonna be an important thing to practice on before we move to the, uh, the field. So um, overall, um, this is kind of my first time really being around the Habu, and I have to say it's a pretty cool airplane. It's brightly colored, mm -hmm. should be easy to see. It is more exotic looking than your, uh, your traditional uh, trainer. I learned on a, um, on a, a three-channel Sport Cub, and uh, boy, this thing looks so much more high-tech and cool than uh, the, the uh, three-channel three channel, uh, um, Cub, which is actually the same plane that he flew in the Buddy Box on. And what would you rather fly? Would you rather fly that, that Cub you flew last year, or would you rather fly this? I'd rather definitely this. Cause definitely this? Yeah, many reasons. First of all, it looks cooler, <laughs> and it's a jet. It's a jet. <laughs> That's it. I think a lot of people uh, tend to get kind of turned off by a, a, a high-wing trainer-looking airplane. And I think for younger people, like Logan here, um, there's something that's just awesome about it, about a jet. Mm -hmm. uh, well, even for people like me too, the jet's cool. And that cool factor um, is able to be transferred into a trainer. So he's gonna go right from no flying really at all to an EDF jet. And this is gonna be fantastic to, uh, to watch him progress in this. So if you're interested in, in learning how to fly, which if you're watching this series, hopefully that's exactly why you're, you're watching it. We've covered the ground school and you're looking to buy what plane do you want to get into? Um, as of now, this definitely looks like the right plane to use. And I know there's a lot of skeptics out there. I know there's a lot of guys who've been in this hobby a long time who say, there's no way that Logan here can fly this plane. It's not a beginner plane. You can't fly an EDF as a beginner plane. Well, we're going to prove them. We're going to totally prove them wrong. <laughs> At least I hope so. No, <laughs> no, I'm, I am uh, very confident in, in Logan's ability. I'm confident in the aircraft. I'm confident that he can learn through real flight and through a Horizon instructor that he will be able to fly this aircraft on his own um, with proper instruction. So it's, uh, it's definitely a, a huge paradigm shift where before an EDF was not something you'd ever want to start a new beginner out on. But we're going to prove that indeed Logan can do it and we're going to do it here with this Habu STS ready to fly. So if you guys got any questions, uh, by all means, leave them in the, uh, the comments below. Uh, we're more than happy to, uh, to answer any questions. Um, I will get some flight time on this as well before uh, we turn the, uh, the keys over here to, to Logan to fly it. So I will also be reporting back on, on how well it, um, it flies and kind of my thoughts on it. Uh, the Horizon instructor will also fly the aircraft to become familiar with it and, and share his thoughts. Um, and once again, thanks again to our friends at Horizon Hobby for helping making this series uh, come to life. Uh, they were able to, uh, to help us out in a number of ways here. And uh, we're, we're very thankful uh, for their ability because with their help, we're gonna turn someone into a uh, new RC pilot and get him started on his journey in, in the hobby. So um, that's really about it. We'll talk to you guys later.